Hi, superstars. It is time for math. We are on lesson 8 8-8. Decompose 10 to solve problems. We're going to write equations to show parts of 10 and solve problems. Let's get started. Let's look at our first problem here. 10 children are going on a bus for a field trip. Each child will wear either a red or a yellow shirt because those are the school colors. Use counters to model a way to break 10 into two parts and show what color shirt each child wears. Then write an equation to match the counters. Okay, so here we have a 10 frame in our school bus. 10 children are going on a field trip. Now they're going to be wearing either red or yellow, the school colors. So we are going to first use red counters for the red shirts and we are going to pick any number that fits into our 10 frame here for children wearing red. So you can choose a number. I'm going to choose this number. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm choosing eight red shirts. I put eight counters. Now I'm going to write eight. That is one part of my 10. And now I'm going to draw in how many kids are wearing yellow shirts using my counters. And this is the second part of 10 that I'm going to make. One, two. I can't fill in any more counters in my 10 frame. So you wanna just use your 10 frame and fill it full to make 10. So I added another two. So there's my two parts, eight and two. So 10 equals eight plus two. And that is one way that we can decompose 10. All right, let's move on and watch our video. All right. Let's start our video. Ten children are going on a field trip. Each child will wear a red or a yellow shirt. How many of each color shirt will there be? Well, there has to be ten in all, right? So we're going to find out how many of each color. There could be seven yellow shirts and three red shirts. You can show this with counters. You can make an equation to show the answer. All right, let's try it. All right, so it says select a counter to show a way to make 10. So we have 10 yellow counters plus, do you see any red counters? No, zero red counters, and that's 10. So that's one way to make 10, right? Zero plus 10 equals 10. So now we have zero yellow counters and we have 10 red counters. So that's another way to make 10. Zero plus. All right, so one let's see. We plus can, nine equals 10. We can do one yellow and nine red. One plus nine equals 10. 2 plus 8 equals 10. So there's another way. Let's keep seeing how many different ways we can make 10. 3 plus 7 equals 10. 
4 plus 6 equals 10. 5 plus 5 equals 10. Okay, and we can keep going. 6 plus 4 equals 10. 7 plus 3 equals 10. 8 plus 2 equals 10. 9 plus 1 equals 10. Okay, so there's many different ways to decompose 10 and to make 10. Write a 7 for 7 yellow shirts. Write a 3 for 3 red shirts. 10 equals 7 plus 3. Okay, let's move on. Let's look at number one in our guided practice. Now, we're going to use the counters to tell how many of each color. And then we're gonna complete the equation to show the way 10 is separated into two parts. 10 children are going on a field trip. Each child will wear either a red or a yellow shirt. How many of each color shirt will there be? So if we look at our 10 frame, we can see how many yellow counters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight kids wearing yellow shirts. How many are wearing red? One, two. So we're going to trace the two, and that is one way to decompose 10 into two parts. Eight plus two equals 10. All right, let's look at number two. Okay, so we're gonna continue to see how many children are wearing yellow or red shirts on the field trip. So we're gonna see different ways that we can break apart 10. Okay, so in the first problem, there were eight yellow, eight yellow shirts on the children and two red. So now we're going to pick different numbers again. So this time, let's see how many yellow shirts I'm going to choose for my 10 frame. You can choose different colors and different numbers. I'm going to say one, two, three, four. I'm going to say four kids were wearing yellow shirts. And the remainder, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can't add any more. Six kids were wearing red shirts. So we broke up 10 into two parts, four and six. Four plus six equals 10. All right, we're gonna break it up again in a different way. I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five. This time, five students are wearing yellow shirts. And then one, two, three, four, five. Five will be wearing red shirts. So we broke apart 10 again. Five plus five equals 10. Okay, here's another way to break apart 10. I'm going to say that one student is wearing a yellow shirt and that if one student is wearing a yellow shirt, nine students will be wearing red. So I'm gonna fill in my 10 frame and put nine. So I broke apart 10 into one and nine. One plus nine equals 10. All right, superstars, it's your turn. I want you to complete your independent practice and see 
how well you understand this lesson. All right, superstars, until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.